Next up. And Rick is, uh, is our third Ohio State guy we've talked about already? Yeah, Igbuka, and then we talked about now Judkins, and let's come to Trevion Henderson, who we talked about last year on this list. Rick, what do you got? I think he was our running back one a year ago, and a lot changed, obviously, but uh, tell me about Trevion Henderson, who returned to Ohio State. Yeah, this kid, to me, is the fastest out of all the running backs coming out. Um, I, I love his vision. Uh, his issue is durability. He hasn't been able to stay healthy, but when he's healthy, I think he's a quick twitched athlete. He can catch the ball in the backfield. He can make explosive run plays. Uh, he can make something out of nothing happen. He's okay in pass protect per production or pass protection. Um, this guy is tough and he's willing to, to, to pick up a linebacker. I don't have any questions about his toughness. My biggest issue is his durability. And but the one thing I do like about him is I do think that he is the fastest and has the best chance to hit home runs. I think that uh, he had a couple of nice runs against your Golden Domers. If I remember watching that game, uh, I don't remember watching that game, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fever dream, yeah. But uh, he can catch, he can do everything. My only hole I have in him is he can't stay healthy. And I think I recall you saying, correct me if I'm wrong, you think he's better coming out than J.K. Dobbins? I do. Okay. And J.K. went the second round with that group of uh, running backs a few years ago. Um, I agree. I, I wrote um, this from this last year. It might be 20, yeah, it's 2022 that I watched. Uh, when he gets to the second level, he has an extra gear. Uh, so shows some shiftiness in the backfield, all the things you talked about. So health is the major concern. Uh, Rick, he was your running back two. He was my running back four. Mike, you didn't have him on a list, but I'm guessing you watched him. Yeah, I, I yeah. love you know, obviously the things that Rick spoke to, the fluidity with the speed. I think he's got a high floor when it comes to the NFL. I just, again, the injuries, and then I don't think he's really a between the tackles, like grind out tough yardage kind of back. I don't know. It's just I, I didn't see that part to his game. And I also just worry that, you know, I go back to his true freshman tape, and that was kind of the best we've seen for him. You know, two years since to not really take that leap. Um, it's just a little worse. And so he was just outside my top five. But again, really good running back class. Uh, I still think he's a very good NFL back. Rick, comp and draft range. Yeah, I had him in a second round because um, I think if he, if you see what you did freshman, and I agree, Mike, the one thing you point out is out of all of these guys that are kind of like to run between the tackles and are tough guys, He'll run through some contact, but he's the one that knows he's fast and will try to bounce it to the outside more than the other guys to utilize the speed instead of sometimes grinding it out for some tough runs. Uh, but I had I was I was kind of torn between my two comps. So I had two comps, but I can't remember which one I put in. I think I put in Jalen Wright. You did not. You oh, the other but I went with James Cook. Yeah, I he was, was James Cook. I went where I was like a combination between those two guys. Last year, a year ago, you said J.K. Dobbins, and you've he surpassed that. Man, that's that's rich. Jalen Wright and or James Cook. I'm going off the speed. No, I get it. And what round did you say or did you not? Second. Second. Okay. All right. I had him as like a late uh second, early third, and I said Cam Makers. So make it that way you will. Don't feel great about it, but I'm okay. What'd you say? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Mike, who did he say? Cam Akers. Akers. <laughs> you hear Nate go out? What happened? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I stopped paying attention to your account. Uh, I apologize. That's very rude of me. It is rude of you. At Oregon, October 12th, and then uh, the Michigan game, November 30th, which you've talked about. 